There's a saying that the task of the preacher is to comfort the afflicted and to afflict the comfortable. And some of us preachers are better at one than the other. But one who was amazing actually at both was a man named Girolamo Savonarola. Now he was a Dominican priest in the 15th century in the sin city of the Renaissance world in Florence. And Savonarola was known for his fiery preaching. He was calling uh, the political leaders of the time and ordinary people to holiness. And he knew that if they kept on their sinning pagan ways, that it would have a tremendous ability to destroy everything that was good and beautiful and holy about the amazing city of Florence. Now, Savonarola uh, was the kind of man who was so in love with God and so filled with fire that he burned with zeal. And the people of Florence loved him but he really annoyed a lot of people as well, uh, precisely because he had no qualms about calling out injustice uh, whenever he needed to. Now, Savonarola was actually uh, condemned as a heretic and burned for that. Now, of course, this was a sham trial, and this all was kind of you know, reversed later on. And so Savonarola's cause for beatification is actually up now. It's a sign that even when we are courageous uh, and do the right thing against injustice and impiety, that things may not work out well for us in this life, but it certainly will in the next. And sometimes the church actually recognizes that even centuries later. Now, there's a little piece of furniture, which is in many places, and also in our church here at Prince of Peace, that you probably have never thought about before. The three chairs where the priest, deacon, and subdeacon sit during a solemn high mass is usually called a sedilia, and often it's one big block of chairs. Here at Prince of Peace, we have three chairs with an image on it of this very fierce-looking guy with a big nose. Well, these Florentine-style chairs are actually called Savonarolas, and the image is of Savonarola. It was kind of a way for Florentine furniture makers who were very much in favor of what Savonarola was doing uh, to keep them and others away from injustice, to kind of thumb their noses at people. So these type of furniture sometimes ended up particularly in Dominican churches. Now, I picked these up precisely because Savonarola is an interesting prophet, and for our own times, which are mired in injustice and impiety, that we need the example of good priests like Savonarola who are able to be on fire for the Spirit no matter what the cause. And so whenever I sit in this chair with my back up against a Girolamo da Savonarola, I'm reminded of it is my duty as a preacher to afflict the comfortable and to comfort the afflicted.